Welcome to Ghost Hash Crypto Mining. Right here in front of me today, I have an Antminer L3 Plus. I just picked this up. I'm totally new to ASIC mining. So today I wanted to cover a little bit about my experience setting up this ASIC miner. Hasn't been fun so far, I'll tell you that. Spoiler alert, still not set up. What I'm finding, I got a good deal for this, by the way, guys. I found this on Facebook Marketplace. I got it for about 500 bucks. Uh, it has four hash boards. Two of them at least are confirmed to work. I have two that need to be looked at. Um, they look fine physically. I, 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 I'm doing research. Like I said, I have, I have zero knowledge on ASIC mining. So if anybody wants to help me out, uh, feel free to leave any feedback, any any advice down in the comments. That would be greatly appreciative as I know nothing about it. What I know, I'm about to share with you now. So essentially, this is a metal box that houses four hash boards. These hash boards are equivalent to what a GPU would be. This one's missing a heat sink here. I accidentally knocked that off. I have to re-glue it. Um, so this hash board gives you about 125 mega hash on stock settings. Uh, I heard they can be overclocked to about 150 mega hash. Now, so essentially this is like having four graphic cards inside of this machine. Because there's four hash boards. So the way this works and I'm like I said, um, I'm new to this, guys. So ASIC, the term ASIC is an acronym for Application Specific Integrated Circuit, meaning that these machines can only mine one algorithm. They're designed to mine, in this case, the L3 is designed to mine Dogecoin and Litecoin. It uses the script algorithm that is specific to that coin. So Unlike GPUs where I can take this GPU and I can mine Ergo, I can mine Ravencoin. I, so in GPU mining, it's up to the specific hardware that your miner is made out of. So I can upgrade pieces of my, G, of my GPU miner as I go. So if I wanted to upgrade this RX 470 to an RX 580 or an RX Vega or uh, 5700 XT, 6700 XT, uh, all I have to do is pull this one out and put that new part in and it adds hash power to my miner. Hash boards are a little different. I can't switch algorithms. So I can't switch from mining Doge and Litecoin to mining Ethereum. I can't mine Ergo. I could only mine Doge and, and Litecoin. The other thing is each one of these hash boards consumes about 200 watts of electricity. These run at a total capacity of about 800 watts that's the stock figures given so 800 watts gets you about 504 mega hash which equates to about six dollars and fifty cents give or take of daily profit in litecoin and dogecoin so that that means that these are getting about a dollar fifty each in profitability per day per hash board similar to my gpu here uh, where this gets above a dollar and below a dollar fifty, but in that wheelhouse. But it only runs on 80 watts of electricity. Where this 800, like we said a second ago. So this comes, this is a 100% already, ASIC miners are fully built miners. All you have to do is pretty much plug them in, plug the internet in. Uh, connect them to your pool and your mining. Where GPU, you, you actually have to build it. You have to get risers, riser cables, motherboard, and you, you build a mining rig. It's more versatile, but um, as far as, I'm a GPU miner at heart. I love GPU mining. It's gonna be, it's, it's my baby. But I just wanted to try this out and see what we come up with, a fun little experiment. The things that I've noticed when I did have it running for a little while, this is a lot louder. These fans spin a lot faster. Uh, 
The back of this actually has a Nactua fan upgrade, which is a lot quieter, but I think it needs to be done in the front as well. As you can see here, uh, the way this works is this hash board slips into this. You remove this plate, these screws here, and you slide the hash board. You slide it in, you slide it in there, and voila, it will sit just like the rest of them, and you have your fourth hash board. But there's four of these bad boys in there. This here is the control panel, control board, if you will. So, slide this bad boy out. So, I have a feeling that this is what I need to replace in this. Um, I'm only getting ethernet lights when I turn it on. I'm not getting any of these two lights turning on. Again, I appreciate any feedback you guys have, any advice, you can help me out. Uh, this is my first ever A6 miner. I will get that in here in a second. And I have the APW3++ power supply from Bitmain. You can also run a server power supply. It's a little quieter, believe it or not. Um, as long as you have a breakout board and en enough uh, PCIe power cables, uh, you, you can run this miner. But anyway, I am going, I just wanted to show you guys uh, my new ASIC miner and uh, uh, some differences between GPU mining and ASIC mining. We went over ASIC miners this is a gpu miner obviously you all know what that is and this is just to show some differences um it's a lot runs a lot quieter all right so this is what i get when it's powered on it's connected to a 110 outlet i get the ethernet lights uh, this green one blinks every now and then, this one stays solid, and none of these lights turn on here, so maybe the control board, but all these lights turn on fine, everything looks good back here. I'm going to plug in that extra hash board yet, because I have to repair it, but if anybody has uh, any idea what to do from here, please shoot me a comment below. I apologize about the noise level. This is a lot louder than GPU mining for sure. Uh, I did all the basic stuff. I even tried to reflash the firmware. Um, tried everything. These two lights just don't turn on. The signal lights. So my thought is control board. Let me know what you guys think. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, thanks for all the support. Um, uh, ASIC mining could be fun. Let's see. Something tells me it's never going to replace GPU mining for me. But it's good to diversify and try new things. So let's see how this works out. I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you soon.